the best robot tanks or armed unmanned ground vehicles in the world. Tanks have dominated battlefields for the past hundred years, since being introduced in the First World War to devastating effect. Now, with autonomous vehicles seeing a flurry of development in the military arena, the tank as we know it may be on its way to becoming a thing of the past. The merits of these new robot tanks are their size and affordability, with the added benefit of survivability, a cocktail that militaries across the world are keen to get hold of as they face threats from increasingly unconventional foes. In this video, we will cover the best unmanned tanks or vehicles in the world. Let's begin with the most advanced robot tanks, Ura-9. The Ura-9 is an armed, unmanned ground vehicle designed, developed and manufactured by the Russian defense company 766 UPTK. The Ura-9 is specially designed to deliver combined combat, reconnaissance and counterterrorism units with remote reconnaissance and fire support. The Ura-9 can be used full autonomously on a predefined road or manually operated by one man from a truck control station or via a small backpack control station. The armament consists of a 2A72 Mod ABM M30M3 autocannon from Impulse 2, Sevastopol. Along Russian artillery and other producers, four abs of the Ataka or other type, also Igla or Strela SAM, FCS, CAM IR sensors, laser rangefinder, and other means for detection. The Ura 9 has been tested in Syria, where there were serious issues with the remote control systems, which were apparently unable to find or hit enemy targets at anything like a useful range. The Ura 9 is probably a decade or more from being an effective weapon system. Themes. The Themis Combat Unmanned Ground Vehicle is capable of providing direct fire support for maneuver forces. It has already been deployed on peacekeeping operations in Mali and tested with a range of ordnance. Themis Combat UGV provide direct fire support for maneuver forces and act as a force multiplier. With an integrated self-stabilizing remote-controlled weapon system, they provide high precision over wide areas day and night, increasing standoff distance, force protection, and survivability. Combat UGV can be equipped with light or heavy machine guns, 40mm grenade launchers, 30mm autocannons, and anti-tank missile systems. Themis UGV have been acquired by 11 countries, 7 of which are members of NATO, including Estonia, Germany, the Netherlands, Norway, the UK, and the US. M5 Ripsaw The Ripsaw M5 is a tracked armed unmanned ground vehicle or robotic combat vehicle developed by the team Ripsaw. The Ripsaw M5 is based on a track chassis and can be powered by a 1,500 horsepower gasoline engine or a 1,000 horsepower diesel engine coupled to an Allison automatic transmission. The suspension consists of rubberized D-shaped tank track, two sprocket wheels, three return rollers, and five road wheels. The Ripsaw M5 is fitted with the Fleur Summit providing seamless electro-optical and infrared image composites for 360-degree situational awareness for remote vehicle operations. The Ripsaw M5 is fitted with a protector medium caliber turret 30 that can be armed with a 30 or 40 mm Bushmaster cannon and a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun. One of the most interesting features of the Ripsaw is its ability to deploy other drones, namely those developed by Fleur Systems, that can deliver 360 degree situational awareness through high quality video feeds of the battle space. Titan. Titan is a large unmanned ground vehicle that provides safety and support for small dismounted military operations. Developed by KineQ and Milram Robotics, Titan features a multi-mission, reconfigurable platform that increases soldier safety and mission effectiveness. Titan is a multi-mission UGV that can be reconfigured to enhance mission effectiveness. It integrates the battlefield-tested robotic systems and controller from QNA MIS UGV platform and modular mission payload developed by Milram. The platform includes two track modules connected by a payload frame. The open architecture of the Titan UGV allows for the integration of mission equipment and systems to support a range of operations. Unlike existing UGV, Titan is a highly modular platform that allows different superstructures to be mounted and integrated onto the middle vehicular platform for complex missions such as rescue, transport, and reconnaissance. Milram Type-X Type-X is a robotic combat vehicle designed and built by Milram Robotics. The vehicle is operated from a safe distance by a combination of augmented artificial intelligence and a remote system operator which means it considerably raises troop survivability and lowers lethality risks by increasing standoff distance from enemy units. It features a track design with armor protection which increases its cross-country performance and durability. The Type-X is designed to be highly modifiable and easily upgradable, meaning it can be fitted with either autocannon turrets up to 50mm, such as John Cockerell's CPWS-2 or various other weapons systems such as ATMs, SAMs, radars, mortars, etc. 
The heavy armament that can be mounted on the vehicle means that the Type X provides equal or overmatching firepower and tactical usage compared to traditional infantry fighting vehicles. Milrun Robotics, a robotic solutions provider based in Estonia, is developing the Type X vehicle to reduce the number of soldiers on the battlefield. It is ideal for performing missions in dangerous situations while keeping the required number of warfighters out of harm's way. The use of unmanned ground vehicles in defense is steadily expanding and military organizations across the globe are experimenting with their use in an effort to understand what exactly such systems can offer and how they can be best integrated in the current force structures. In conclusion, these UGV are mostly a way of showing force and military capability. Still, they should not be taken lightly. Even though these systems are not completely ready, they do show just how much individual countries are willing to invest in development of these systems and how they are planning to integrate them as a part of their military force. In addition, by looking at the weaponry and payload capabilities of each UGV, it can be seen which UGV are planned to be used in supportive and logistic roles and which are to be used in ways more aggressive ways. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.